Hello, welcome. Uh, today we're talking about from section geometry 8.3, uh, special right triangles. There are two special right triangles that we're going to talk about today. The first one is an isosceles right triangle, and it is a 45-45-90 triangle. The um, two sides, the two legs of the triangle, like I said, are uh, isosceles, so therefore are the same, and will be given the generic value of x. So with the two legs being x and x, the hypotenuse then is x square root of 2. So I would draw this figure and mark it accordingly. The second special right triangle that we're going to use is the 30-60-90 right triangle. The side lengths then are x, 2x, and x square root of 3. Unlike the isosceles right triangle of 45, 45, 90, uh, we have to make a note of where the three where the three sides are. Always across from 30 degrees is the smallest side x. The hypotenuse will always be the largest side, and that is 2x. And then if you're kind of just thinking, you've got to throw in there the x square root of 3. And we will use these special right triangles to solve uh, for parts of a triangle um, given different situations. For instance, in this problem, the question states, find the hypotenuse. Taking a look at the two reference triangles that we had, this triangle has two sides that are exactly the same, 4 and 4. So if I take a look at my 45, 45, 90 triangle, I notice that in comparison, the 4 is in the same spot as the x. So now there's two x's in this problem, but we kind of don't want to think of it as an x on the left and an x on the right. We're just looking for some value for that hypotenuse, and that is the x square root of 2 in the special right triangle. So if this side is 4, and this is x, then this has to be 4 square root of 2. Because so all, all I'm doing is replacing what this value would be uh, in the x part for the special right triangle. So the hypotenuse of the figure is 4 square root of 2. You may tell me, why didn't we just do Pythagorean theorem? Um, and the answer is because we can do um, the special right triangles with fewer pieces of information. This has two sides, which is good, uh, but if we only have one side, we can use special right triangles to solve as well. Let's try another example. It says find the side lengths here. Uh, again, we have the two x's, so therefore we have the isosceles triangle, which is a 45-45-9 triangle. Now we have 6 in the spot of the x square root of 2, so therefore it's equal to it. And since we have 6 equal to x square root of 2, we can solve then by dividing square root of 2 on both sides. Now clean up the red here. By taking and having 6 over the square root of 2. We can't have a radical in the denominator, so we multiply top and bottom, that 6 section here, by square root of 2. Simplifying then, we have 6 square root of 2 over square root of 4 is equal to x. We know that the square root of 4 is really 2, so therefore we have 6 square root of 2 over 2. And lastly, then we have 3 square root of 2 um, equal to x. We do have to do all the simplifying uh, because all of the values here need to be in a uh, perfect or absolute answer, and not a decimal approximation. So the final value for both of the sides, for here and for here, will be 3 square root of 2. All right, next problem. Find multiple side lengths. We have the 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we have T and S and 5 as the three sides. We take a look at our special right triangle labeled as the same. We know that across from the 30 has to be the X. We have 2X and X square root of 3. The piece of information that we have that's the same is the 5 is in the spot of the X square root of 3. So to solve for the sides T and S, I really need to solve for X on the special right triangle figure. And x square root of 3 is equal to 5, so when I set those equal to each other, I can solve then similarly to the last statement. So I have 5, or x is equal to 5 over the square root of 3. I multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3. Simplifying, then I have 5 square root of 3 over square root of 9, or I have 5 square root of 3 over 3. So that is my value for x. And x is in the same spot as t, so therefore t is equal to 5 square root of 3 over 3. 
and now if I look at s, s is in the same spot as 2x, and I really so I really need to take whatever x is and multiply it by 2. So if x was equal to 5 square root of 3 over 3, then s has to equal to has to be equal to 2 times that, or 10 square root of 3 over 3. Again, we solve for x on the special right triangle, replaced in the values for t and for s accordingly uh, to the spots from the special right triangle. All right, the height of a ramp. A tipping platform is a ramp used to unload trucks. How high is the end of an 80-foot ramp when it is tipped by a 30-degree angle and by a 40-degree angle? So we have these two ramps here. Uh, we're looking for values for x and for y. We're given the 45, 45, 90 triangle on the left and a 30, 60, 90 triangle on the right. For the value um, on the left or for the x, we know that the 45, 45, 90 triangle gives us x square root of 2 here, x and x. So 80 is equal to x square root of 2. Solving then, multiplying square root of 2 on top and bottom, simplifying 40 square root of 2 is the value for x. Looking at the y now, and the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know that we have the special right triangle as x, 2x, and x square root of 3. The 2x is in the same spot as 80, so therefore 2x is equal to 80. That means that x is equal to 40. And that means that since x and y are in the same spot on the special right triangle and the figure, we're left with our final answer for the height of y is equal to 40. All right, finding the area of an equilateral triangle. Given that we have a 16 for a length of a side, we the nice thing about equilateral triangle is that it has 60, 60, 60 degrees for each one of the side, the corners, each one of the angles. And if I divide and drop in an altitude in one of these, it divides it up into a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So therefore, then we have uh, the special right triangle on the right, where the 16 is really the hypotenuse in the spot of the 2x. And if we're trying to find the area of a triangle, we remember we have 1 half the base times the height. So we really need to find the height here. And we know what the base is. It's the same thing as the hypotenuse because of the um, nature of the triangle. So if we know that 2x is in the, the spot of the hypotenuse, 2x is equal to 16, that means x is equal to 8. And if x is equal to 8, and this is the height, okay, same thing on the sides of the triangle here and here, that means the height of our triangle is 8 square root of 3. If our height of our triangle is 8 square root of 3, and the formula for area is 1 half base times the height, then the area equation will be 1 half times the base, which is 16, times the height of the triangle, which simplifies down to 64 square root of 3, or approximately 110.85.